Hey guys, welcome to another phaser tutorial. You can see right now we have a game where we can move the spaceship around, press the space bar to shoot. Um, but there's only one alien and when the bullet touches it nothing happens so a little bit boring right now. So let's think about how to make it a bit better. So the first thing I want to do is I want to generate a few more aliens every few seconds. Okay, so what I want to do is, um, firstly I want to, instead of generating um, the enemy here, I want to create a function and then generate the enemy within that function. So I'm going to cut all this code and I'm going to put in uh, a function name, for example, generate enemy. Okay, and then um, down the end of the program all the way down um, just before flash script I'm gonna put a function here called generate enemy okay I'm gonna paste all that here and um, just let's see if that works first so press F12 and you can see that it's still working okay nothing has happened yet we just want to make sure that the game still works um, with every little step that we take. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to create an alien group. Okay, so instead of generating the enemy here, what I'm going to do is delete that. Okay, and I'm going to create a group of aliens. So I'm going to say, um, I'm going to say aliens. Okay, aliens, notice it's plural now, so it means a group, game.add.group, and then pretty much similar to the bullets, I'm just going to copy everything here, okay, but instead of bullets, I'll put aliens, right, because I'm creating an aliens group, and then aliens, now, this create multiple lines. In, rather than creating multiple aliens using this line, I've decided to use the function that I've just created to make more aliens because this line doesn't really allow for every alien to have their own animation. So I'm going to delete that, but I'll keep this um, check world bounds and check out of bounds kill so that if any aliens are outside the level we um, get rid of them okay so now um, if I go back down to the bottom where I have generated the aliens okay instead of I can get rid of this line here because with a group I have already ensured that um, every single member of the group has the physics the arcade physics system so I can get rid of that and I can just put in here um, aliens dot add alien okay aliens dot add alien so this should add the alien that I've just created here into the aliens group so to make sure that works, I'm just going to click Generate Enemy um, a couple of times here. Um, so under the Create function, if I put Generate Enemy here, it should still generate one single enemy. So if I upload it, test it out, yep, there's our solo enemy there. So um, now what I want to do is instead of generating it at the same spot I'm going to generate it at a random location so I'm going to put in here I'm going to put in here game dot rnd random dot integer in range so this will generate a random integer between the range of 0 to 800 and then I'm going to do the same thing for the Y value, so I'm going to generate a random number between 0 and 600. So every time I run this game now, 
the enemy should be generated at a different location each time. So you can see every time I refresh it, the enemy goes to a different place. Okay, so that means it's working. <clears throat> So now what I want to do is I want to generate an enemy every few seconds. So within the update function, okay, I'm going to put in an if statement. I'm going to say if the time, so game.time.now, if the time uh, divided by, uh, let's say, 3,000, has a remainder of zero so that means this will only occur every three seconds I will generate an enemy I will generate an enemy and let's see if this works so this is my um, this is my code right now and it's not working and why is that so you've probably discovered that this way doesn't work because um, this update function is not called every millisecond so it's not going to call it every millisecond so uh, basically this just won't work so what we're gonna do now is we're going to get rid of that and we're basically going to use the same if statement as we did for the bullets so we're going to say that um, or oh, we've got to make two variables at the top so um, we got the fire rate and the next fire time for the bullets so I'm going to put in the time in milliseconds between each alien created so I'm going to call it alien rate instead of bullet rate. And the time in milliseconds since the start of the game when the next alien will be created. Will be created. Okay, the next alien will be created and it can be next alien time. Okay, and the time in milliseconds, so let's make it three seconds okay 3000 milliseconds then down here I'm gonna use a similar if statement as the firing of the bullets so I'm just gonna copy that and put it here under the update function under the update function I'm gonna put in here if the game time now is bigger than the next alien time then I will change the next alien time next alien time to the current game time plus the alien rate and I'm going to um, generate an alien was it generate any generate enemy okay so let's see if that works um, so let's run the game and you should see that a new enemy is generated every three seconds or so so yep it is generating every three seconds um, so let's now make it so that if we press the space bar we destroy the enemy so in the code here underneath the um, update function where it's got check if player and aliens collide all we have to do is change a player to aliens um, so from alien change it to aliens so let's just check if we touch an alien the player should die okay so let's try that so if I touch an alien I should disappear so yes I have died so that is working so all we gotta do is add another one 
for the bullets. Okay, so overlap between bullets and aliens. Okay, so when the bullets touch the aliens, what happens? Well, let's run the function um, bullet alien collision. Okay, we're going to run this function bullet alien collision and let's create the function at the end. So we got function bullet alien collision and don't forget to comment your code it doesn't matter how brief the comment is um, so actually let's just comment the code so generate enemy this part is for code for generating the enemy um, and die this part is code for killing the player okay in here is code for any uh, bullet destroying enemy okay so the bullet alien collision is between the bullet and the alien so we're gonna take in two parameters we're gonna take in um, let's say A and B right these two parameters represent the two things that are colliding right the two things that are colliding so the bullets and the aliens so um, when the two things collide we're gonna kill both things a dot kill and B dot kill so let's try that so if I shoot the aliens they both disappear they both disappear um, oops so a problem just occurred okay if you notice what happened just then was when I was approaching the alien okay sorry the alien actually popped up in the exact same location as my airplane so that's not very good so I want to try and fix that so instead of just generating the enemy and putting it randomly on the screen what I'm gonna do is I want to create um, two variables I want to create alien X and I want to put this over here okay so I'm gonna generate alien X generate a random number put it inside the alien X variable and generate a random number and putting it inside the alien y variable so here I can just say alien x and alien y when I'm adding the sprite to the screen and what I want to do okay is I want to check um, wherever the alien is created I want to check that the difference between the difference between the alien x coordinate and my player my player's x coordinate is um, bigger than 50 so in my while loop what I'm saying is if it does become smaller than 50 so if you generate a random coordinate for the alien and the difference in the x coordinate between the alien and my player is less than 50 I'm gonna generate it again I'm gonna generate it again and then basically it's gonna keep generating random numbers until it is far away from my player so alien y player dot y 0 600 alien y so this will ensure that the alien is far away from my player now to make sure that this is happening I'm gonna put it in my debugging text so game.debug text I'm gonna pull in here the first line is um, alien X and it's gonna show the alien X variable and the second line is player X 
and it's going to show the player x variable and I'm going to put them in um, at an x corner 50, 50 pixels from the top and the second line is 100 pixels from the top so let's run that and see what happens and you can see that every single alien generated will have an x and y coordinate of longer than 50 units away from me okay now just to check that the reverse is working okay what you can do is you can change this while loop to smaller than right if I change this while loop to oh sorry to bigger than and I tested it again what's gonna happen is every single alien generator will be standing right next to me okay and you can see that I'm dead already because every single alien is gonna be within 400 units from my location so they're all sitting in the middle here okay so I'm gonna change it back to smaller than smaller than okay so don't forget to comment your code so here this is generating a random number for the location of the alien and this code here is checking that the alien X and Y coordinates are far from the player uh, further than 50 pixels from the player okay so my game is pretty much nearly complete okay so um, I might add in an instruction on how to play it so I might just add a line at the end so game.debug.text add a quick line at the end to say um, some instructions so press the arrow keys to move the spaceship press spacebar to fire and I will put that um, I will put this line pretty close to the bottom of the screen so if I run that it shows up with the game and oops I just died so it shows up with the instructions and I can uh, play the game okay thanks for watching guys see you next time